Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Look, here's a, just a quick video um, on compression. So what I'm going to do is I'm using <clears throat> just a regular uh, compression plugin, and um, this this is the compressor, and this is a plugin called Exoscope that I'm using. Um, it's free to download. It's pretty cool. Really good for visualizing stuff, um, like say, anything. Basically, it shows you the waveform in live timing, which is handy when you're doing stuff like compression, so you can kind of get a grasp on what's going on. I didn't really understand compression too much when I started making music, and I think this was the biggest uh, tip that I found. So I'm going to share that with you. So you can see here, I've just got a basic kick playing over. I've got a little compressor over here, and it's just basic at the moment, but you can see what these controls will do to the sound as you tweak them. So let's say if I change the release to a basic 200, and then if I change the threshold all the way down to the end, I get this nice tight kick. Now, not exactly the best thing in the world, not kind of what you're going for, but it's a good starting point. Usually I turn the ratio all the way up as well, get a super tight kick. Okay. And then it's a case of kind of tweaking the attack until you find your nicest spot. Uh, I like that thumping kick, but I think I'll just do this for around there. So after I've done that and hit the attack to 121 I want to go to the ratio which is turned up all the way to the full I want to bring that back down just so I can see where the kick is in place maybe at 159 okay and bring the threshold all the way up to where it's kind of peaking and then maybe turn the ratio up a small bit just get that kick all on nice and crunchy there Now, the point uh, being is um, you can see what's going on. So if I was to turn off the compressor, that's the kick I started with. That's the kick I have now. So we know what everything is doing when we're messing around with it. You can see the threshold, it's a huge impact. Uh, you can see the attack, it doesn't have much impact but it does make a difference. See, full attack is got a bigger waveform. Smaller attack. Um, tinier waveform. I don't know exactly what's going on, to be honest, but the ratio makes it chunkier. Look at those kicks. Them, thems are fat kicks. Either way. There you have it. That's essentially what you want if you're trying to visualize compression. So I'm gonna leave it there. I found this to be a handy tip when I was uh, starting out, so I hope you uh, make good use of it and maybe um, use it in the future. I'll put a link in the description for this plugin. And uh, happy compressing.